This is the HP Sprout. It's a new all-in-one desktop computer that's just gone on sale in Europe. Now, it's a bit more expensive than rival systems, but that's because it's got a couple of tricks up its sleeve, an interactive mat and a built-in 3D camera. Um, I'm joined by Brad Short, the computer's inventor. Brad, can you show me what it does? Yeah, let me show you uh, some quick examples. Um, first of all, we have this workspace, dual screen platform here. I can open up our Create app and start creating a Happy Valentine's Day card. So you can see I can move content around just like this as if it's uh, a physical content. And if I want to add flowers, for example, I can put these flowers directly on the mat and then press this camera button. And now it turns into a scanner and it's going to take a picture from the top using our built-in 14.6 megapixel camera and then it reprojects them one to one. So I've really captured the essence of the 3D geometry here. What it also can do on top of 2D scanning is we can use the, our HP 3D scanning called 3D Snapshot and I open that up and now it's going to create a, uh, a scanning system that's equally as easy as 2D capture. So I'm going to use these examples because these show off the, the 3D scanning really well. But what's happening here is we're going to project structured light patterns, vertical and horizontal lines, and take pictures of each one of those. And the system will calculate the, the depth data for each color pixel by looking at the distortion of those, those line patterns. So just after about 20 seconds here, it's going to show me the 3D geometry with the high-res color imaging over the top of that 3D geometry. And then it will allow me to rotate and do some really interesting uh, imaging tricks, which is, really shows off the power of 3D. And they've come up on so the screen. So now you can see them on the screen here. I can rotate it. I could clean up the geometry and select the, the surfaces I want to keep. Now I've got really clean geometry. I could do some tricks, like let's say I want these to convert it to wood masks. So just with a click of a button, that starts to show the power of the 3D capture. And presumably, because this is an interactive mat, you can turn it into all types of uh, input devices. Yeah, in fact, a, a great example is you take a, an easy piano app like this, and it, you can see now I've turned it into a dual screen where 20-point interactive touch, no latency. Now I can hit record. And you can see the notes playing up on the, the vertical surface. And if I hit save, I have a text entry here. I use the on-screen keyboard to give it a name and then I can play that song back. This is Ron Coglin, Senior Vice President of Personal Devices at HP. This is the first of your blended reality family of products. How